Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson and I'm an abstract painter and if you are new to my channel, I do abstracts and I do several types of abstracts. This is a floral, I do landscapes and then very bold colors. This is an 18 by 24 inch, uh, 140 pound watercolor paper and I used acrylics, the high flow and regular acrylics and um, there'll be a little blurb at the end. Um, so if you hang in there to the end where I tell you some of the colors that I mixed up and the beauty of mixing your different colors, the different um, intensities that you can get that help when you're creating your pieces that just help you with some interest. So I wanted to um, just, I fell in the mood. It's a chilly day here and I fell in the mood to do some flowers. So without further ado, let's roll this tape and uh, let you see how I created this beautiful floral painting for you. So as I mentioned in the introduction, this is a um, sheet, 140 pound Canson watercolor paper. I love this paper. It I put a lot of water on my painting pieces and this paper does not buckle. And if it does roll a little bit, all I do is put a couple books on the um, paper. I put some you can put wax paper or I use glassine and you just put the paper down and put some books on it and it flattens them out um, just within a couple hours. Um, so I'm starting at the top. On this particular floral, I kind of did the top uh, light colors and the bottom kind of the darker colors and then intermixed uh, the greens and some limes and colors. Um, into the mix of the painting to give it um, some balance. I try to look at having lights and darks throughout the painting so that you have something, the eye has something to look at. So I started with some Lucas uh, pink and um, I've been using Lucas paints now for about six months and the beauty of Lucas paints is it's a mix between the regular heavy body paints and the high flows of the golden so Lucas has got um, a soft consistency that that I like and the pink is a very 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 soft pink um, I guess it's a cool tone I don't know it's um, it's just a beautiful pink and I mix it with some of the high flow magenta from Golden a lot of times. But I have several pinks that I'll mix in here and several yellows. So at the end, um, I show some of the greens and how I mix some of the green colors because I thought I never used to use green a lot. And when I did, I kind of just stuck, stuck, um, kept to um, stuck is the word I was looking for one green the lime the the golden green the gold green and I don't like that color as much by itself so I learned to mix some different colors together which I think is fun so I'm just doing the top part covering the paper um, I do not start with gesso on my paper you certainly can. I don't. I I don't find that I need to. Um, a lot of the black and whites I do, I love the way it looks when it soaks into the watercolor paper, the freedom of it. So I don't cover my, my paper. It's not wrong if you do. It's not wrong if you don't. It's just a preference thing. So I'm just trying to get different colors on my canvas, my paper. Um, if I say canvas, I mean my, my layout. So the canvas is the, the canvas of, of what you're working on. And many times I have very large jugs of the golden high flow white because I use that a lot. I love the versatility of it. 
I just, I just love the high flow. So you'll see me squirt white out a lot to mix and you'll see me also squirt it on my actual canvas and my paintings um, just to give that kind of that flowy look. It looks great if I were to take some of that white and I did not do it on this one and do the drippy paint. Um, that's a good um, paint to, to use. So I grabbed a uh, baby wipe and I'm just dotting in some of the different uh, colors like the magenta. I'm using a Lucas uh, pink, uh, like a Lucas magenta, just to give a couple different tones. And there again, now that is not a high flow. That's just, um, it's a little thicker because I love white in my painting. And I always resort to my fingers. You can certainly put on the, um, there's like a glove. Um, it's like a blue bottle of, of, uh, it's a formula you put on your hands. If you don't want to have paint soaked into your hands or you can use gloves. Uh, I wash my hands pretty much right after I do my paintings when uh, I clean up. So, um, I don't mind just using my fingers. But I'm grabbing different yellows. Some of them I will mix um, off to the side there. I have a little thing where I mix my paints. Um, I will mix some white with that. I'll mix some of the other pinks with it just to give different colors. And when you put them on your canvas or your paper, of course, they're going to mix in. So I'm going to... Um, put this on kind of a um, faster speed and just let you watch me create. I pop, I will pop in if there's something um, to say. Of course, you can always leave me uh, a note and ask me a question. And then at the end, I'll pop in that little video where I'm mixing the different colors and tell you what I'm doing. So um, turn your own music on and um, just, um, enjoy watching the creation of this. I won't speed it up too much, but I'll speed it up enough so you're not bored stiff watching me. So what you've seen so far is a lot of the same tones and if I don't start adding in some darks to balance it out, the painting is going to be a very light painting or medium toned painting where all the colors are the same. So this is something that I've had to work on myself and watch and to make sure that I balance uh, in my paintings, lights and darks. And sometimes I wait till I'm done and I go back and look and I'll add 
a light next to a dark or a dark next to a light to really give it that pop. So you'll see me balancing back and forth on this painting between lights and darks on my painting choices so that the, the tendency of the painting for me tends to stay the same tones. I have to look at the painting and say, okay, now I got to go in and give it some interest. And what I'm doing now is doing a little like scribbling scorfito type flowers. And again, I had a lot of the same look in my flowers. They were about the same size. So I needed to, to change it up a little bit. And that's something that you might want to look in your paintings is to make sure that you're not doing the same marks over and over again. Go in and add something different. Be, be risky even for a while to change it up. Or um, you've heard me mention in just about every video I do where I have a list of what I love. And writing in a scrofito look is one of the things I absolutely love to do. Now you see me really going in and adding some of the dark to really make sure that the painting, and as soon as I added the dark, for me, the painting started to come alive. It wasn't the same colors. So now I have to go up into the painting a little bit and add some of the dark up there. And so I'll um, go ahead and, and turn your music back up again and um, just watch some of the things that I do um, in my paintings to create the interest that I'm talking about.
so I'm looking at my painting now and um, I go in and I add some black which is a little risky you could take black and you can mix it with a little bit of a darker blue and it doesn't come out as dark but I don't mind black I love black and I think the reason why I wanted to do this is I just needed another uh, dark in my painting so um, that's what you see me doing here and that's called a rigor brush it's a very long um, the, the bristles on it are long it's a very thin long brush and it kind of gives a very loose type of um, a, a stroke so that's what I'm doing now is putting in some black just to give it another um, dimension of um, dark and light in the painting. So here's just a mock-up of what the um, Wonder Flowers painting would look like in a room. It's uh, just a very soft but popping uh, floral painting, very abstract. And so I hope that you give this a try. I put down below in the description um, a link to a Facebook group that you can post uh, any pictures that you want me to see and make a comment on or ask questions. So thank you for watching. And now I'm going to do a little um, video with um, narration of how I did some of the greens. Because greens were always a phenomena to me. And so here's some of the greens I use. All right, so I have a piece of palette. Uh, paper down here and I'm just going to squirt some colors. The first one is a Liquitex Soft Body Brilliant Blue. I think you can probably still get that but it's it's a kind of like a medium type of a blue and then I a lot of times will mix in yellows with my blues because you get green and that's a Hansa yellow. Um, I use that a lot. It's a high flow and um, so I mix that in and then I always put out some white because um, I always use you know intermix white in between but you know there's no rhyme or reason um, just I have these colors all mixed up on my palette as I'm painting because I love the different blends of greens because when you look at grass and flowers and the leaves of flowers they're all different colors they're all different greens and some you know have some golds and yellows in it so um, that's what I try to recreate Another mixture you'll see me put down in just a second 
and the one I use is the Liquitex, the heavy body, but it's in a tube. It's the Prussian blue, but you can get Prussian blue. There it is right there. It's a very dark, oh, it's, it's one of my most favorite colors, my favorite blues. It's dark, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can get it in any of the colors, any of the companies. And again, I'm using the Hansa Yellow Light, and that's a, a green gold that I put down. I used to use just the green gold, but it just, it didn't give me the right color that I wanted. So I will use the green gold and just mix it up. But you'll see the beautiful green. It's almost like a olive green, a very dark grass green, a rich green that the Prussian blue and the yellow. And then you just play with the different colors. Just keep mixing as you're going. Add some white in there. Don't be afraid to just try different um, dots of paint within your mixtures to get different colors. And um, then white, I always throw in some white. So that's what I'm doing here. I just wanted to show you how I mix up my greens, how I mix up, you can take any blue and any green and mix them up and just play with them and you'll get uh, different variations of green and even a little bit of blue. You can add blue into your, your paintings because the blue comes out, abs I mean, they're it's a beautiful adding just touches of blue, um, almost like a cornflower blue up there I'm, I'm creating. But play with your paints, play with your colors, play with your mixtures um, because what happens is they will all blend in together. If a color has a little tad of each of the other colors, they're all going to look good together. That's just something that's a phenomenon of, of the paints. And once I learned that, I wasn't afraid to add the different colors together because they just look so beautiful together.